Hello, my name is Marion Matthews and I'm creating this series of videos um, under the direction of Dr. Patricia Jennings uh, for teachers who have taken part in the Cultivating Awareness and Resilience in Education workshop or read Dr. Jennings' book and are interested in now bringing practices into your classroom. It's really the um, second question we get after people have taken part in a workshop, how do I bring this to my students? And just a couple of things uh, I would review is really resting on your own practice. So if you're practicing with your students, that it is a reiteration and a call and a time for you as a teacher to practice and uh, first and foremost and that we secondly we're inviting students that's not a mandatory practice we're opening up the possibilities that might exist in practicing with them uh, being open with them for your motivation for practicing uh, as dr jennings says when you're uh, we when you're in a classroom we often say pay attention to students but we very rarely show them and give them the felt sense experience of what it means to pay attention. So those are all ways to bring it to your students. Hey, I found something that is helping me. Maybe it'll help you. Looking for ways to engage them and uh, pique their interest and curiosity instead of making it mandatory. Uh, that will open itself up uh, to you know, what lies therein uh, with uh, magic and teaching, right? <laughs> so it flies in the face of what so many things uh, are that are expected and are mandatory in public education. And what, the way we've walked that line is by offering it to students, suggesting why they might practice, and then uh, if they're not interested, offering them an alternative. So for elementary school students, offering them time to read. For high school students, you know, they can uh, use this time, but falling back on the expectation of respect and care in our classroom. So how, how you navigate that with your students, but if you're bringing the practices to them, resting on your own practice, and then um, here we are. Here's three breath practice. And we begin with uh, simple practices and I think a really wonderful way to come into practices is to make the decision to be consistent with it. So if you're teaching elementary school, you find two times in your day where you take part and these practices are all presented in under a minute so that you can Find a two minutes in your day where you use the practices, either using the videos or you yourself lead them after watching the videos and um, cultivating the practice that way and starting simply with calming and focusing, which is really a three breath practice. And we present them uh, paying attention to sensory this sense of cool air coming in, warm air going out, and then we move from there into you know more and more subtle, different ways that you can present it, um, ways that maybe you can entice students to start presenting practices, and uh, then we'll go into more in depth, uh, you know why we practice this, what happens in our brains when we practice, uh, falling back on. Uh, a little bit of curriculum uh, from Mind Up, from uh, the Compassionate Schools Project in Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, seeing, presenting the information in a way that it might uh, be just a moment of mindfulness in your classroom, and then you have your practice resting back on that. Here is, uh, here are some practices resting back on your own practice. So. Um, that's how what we that's the intention of how we want to create these videos. I hope they're helpful. I hope they're a resource for you. We are also also going to be listing with the videos resources that could potentially take a little bit further if your class is interested, taking a little bit further, learning a little bit more about it. 
Um, so good luck. <laughs>